Hello everybody, this is Arathos, and welcome back to RimWorld Call of Cthulhu. Now, one of the things that I was thinking about tearing down in this uh, episode were these gold fern crops, but I think I just might keep them around for a little while, <coughs> mostly because the gold, well, frankly, the gold sounds like it'd be quite useful. Uh, we're gonna forbid this. I don't like what those um, uh, those hoods uh, do when my people put them on the cultist hoods. I could not figure out what was causing that issue uh, with it just making a big purple uh, square on my colonist's head. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Sorry about that. Um, one of the reasons I'm gonna keep the gold fern crops going is right now it's pretty much the only... Um, yeah, it's pretty much the only source of gold I have right now, especially since I only have one of these uh, things up here, one of these core drills at the moment. Uh, we're going to go... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, do forever. And I'm going to do the same for the plasteel bulb chunks. Uh, I'm not growing any more of the steel shrooms and the plasteel bulbs, but uh, this will help me get rid of what I do have, so plasteel bulb, do forever, excellent, get back to it guys. Alright, and let's see, this is not anywhere close to done. <laughs> Oh, also, somebody had a fantastic idea, and I think I'm going to take care of that right now. Um, <coughs> that we should probably put a refrigerator in the hospital to get meals to our uh, sick colonists uh, faster, which is a great idea. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, but I also... Oh, cool, we do have it. Another thing is I need to start building animal prosthetics and... I really don't have a lot of uh, options for this. Let's see. Make a bionic animal leg. Yeah. Like, we have that one dog of ours that is quite messed up. What, what hospital bed was that particular dog in? That's weird. Oh, there it is. Uh, incapacitated. Sanity loss severe? Now, my uh, other question is, is, what would it take to fix the sanity loss? Am I just going to have to replace the brain entirely? Because I kind of hope I don't have to. But either way, we need three legs. Why is your manipulation enhanced? Sanity loss? Okay. <laughs> That's a little odd. Alright, let's get over here and do three bionic legs just for now. And... <clears throat> what the hell does the brain stimulator do? Does it just replace... Improves consciousness, fits all animals. Okay, let's do that. And I might make like three of these because I know we got a lot of insane animals. Was and stone are kind of ill, so. How about you rest until healed? You do the same, and goddamn, somebody needs to clean this bathroom. Or clean this hospital. Jesus. Um, expand a loud area. No, that's triggered. One, please, clean that shit. Place is a pigsty. Okay, also we need our builders to get on this shit quickly. They're just kind of taking their sweet time. Uh, broken down heater. Well, kind of used to that at this point. 
And a heated sun lamp. Hey, just trying to drain all my fucking components, which is shit breaking down left and right. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to start buying or building components here pretty soon. Or use my core drill to pull some in. Uh, the Lynx has gone berserk. I don't need this. Hey guys. Yeah, cuz... Yeah, they'll be able to kill. Like, a lynx should be able to drop <coughs> our boy over here. I don't want to kill you, dude, but I kind of will if I have to. Although the Lynx might actually uh, murder some of our people here. Jesus. Okay, dude, how did you get... How are you... We lose. Nope, we did not lose him. But this Lynx? Holy shit. God damn, really? Okay, and also, nobody. <clears throat> nobody wants to rescue our people. Oh, come on. Yeah, it came to a, you know, an end. Jesus. Okay, Viper, how badly hurt are you? Gee, okay. Let's get you to a hospital bed. Undraft, get you to a hospital bed, okay. Yulia. You want to come save the lynx? Because we're going to have to replace the lynx's legs now. Let's take a look at this. Bitten off. Again, three legs and a tail. Jesus. Okay, let's come over here. <laughs> let's do three more. Now let's just make like ten of these and ten brain stimulators. Good God. Let me do something about the sanity loss. Winter has begun. What the fuck, you idiots? Uh, we don't have fucking time for this. I don't even care about these two assholes at this point. Yep, fuck you, termite. Just stay on the ground. I don't care. Fucking hell. Uh. Hey, Yulia? Maybe rescue the thing I told you to goddamn rescue. Is gonna die. Uh, for fuck's sake. Yep, nope, that's gonna be a dead lynx. Yep. That's what I was expecting. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up with quite a few dead animals before all is said and done. Yeah, we might have to kill off some of our animals or sell them or something because uh, yeah the sanity loss is crazy doesn't look like the bears were really all that effect yeah. the bears all seem fine it's the dogs that apparently took the brunt of the sanity damage yeah 
Ah, yeah, all of our bears are just fine. Most of them are pregnant, apparently, but... Yeah, most of them are just... Yeah, the bears aren't even slightly phased. Okay, is everybody over here getting treated, or...? Death in 16 hours. Death in 16 hours. Nine. Son of a bitch. Alright, stone. Uh, ten to viper. Arathus. Ten to termite. Kirchin, can you tend to John? Cat. Fuck you too then, cat. Carlos. All right, everybody get in here. Let's get everybody up and running again. Fuck's sake, that was crazy. Whew. Okay. So how is our medicine kit workbench? Not even close to done with its projects. Alright, can I build a few more medicine? Well, a few more, um... Prosthetics benches. Well, we have our bionics now. We also have a tissue printer. Uh, yeah. Let's get... Let's put in the bionic workbench. Okay, yeah, this room's getting quite crowded. I don't know that it matters. Oh, I'm just gonna put this here. And yeah, that room is quite cold, so we're just gonna throw a heat not there. Uh, let's cancel that. There we go. Alright, so we have the bionics bench going in. And when we get a chance, we'll put in a tissue printer once I figure out where I want it to be set up. Major break risk. What the bloody hell is your problem? Yeah, you're hurt. Maybe, just maybe, if you hadn't picked a social fight, you'd be fine. So yeah, I really don't give two shits about you being in pain. And you soiled yourself. Well, yeah. Wondering where our cleaners are. God damn it. Look, lady. I specifically told people not to wear these things. Leave it out. Oh, fuck's sake. You. you. Hey. Pretty sure. said no to these. They are forbidden. Leave them forbidden. Like, is somebody still making these bastards? Because that might explain it. Yeah, now nobody's still making it. Now, let's see. Double strand Murph. Vestments. Murph, Murph. Just going through to see if there was an, if there were a few more unfinished ones that are going to get turned into. Nope. All the. Yep, they're all done. Okay. We shouldn't see any more of those bastards show up unless some of our colonists decide to. Um. Yeah, unless some of our colonists decide to go a little bit overboard and start. Um, picking up forbidden items. Again. <laughs> okay. Game just decided it was going to lag all the hell. Uh, what? Oh, come on. There we go. Pet dealer from the Society of the Elder Things showed up. Yeah, the game looked like it was going to crash right there. Uh, lagged out, and then... You know, 
I got the notification to close the program or simply wait. Thankfully, it ended up working out for us. So we have a pet dealer coming. I think I... I'm not really going to object to any pets, and I might actually sell off a fair number of the dogs as much as I don't want to. Because I think most of our dogs suffered from the sanity loss, right? Or not. Huh. I thought most of the dogs were dealing with Yeah, most of the dogs I thought were dealing with sanity issues, but apparently it either wore off or something, because, yeah, we have an occasional one like Horus here, and Talisman, but most of these guys seem alright now. Huh, interesting that. Okay, guess I don't have to sell them off. I think I'm still going to sell some off, honestly, but... What are you doing? I'm going to have you come work on this. I'm getting sick of just seeing it there half-finished. So I'm going to start messing with the work priorities. John has gotten sick. Yeah, because the dumbass didn't listen to me when I told him he needed to take his ass to the hospital and rest until goddamn healed. Uh, you're researching. Well, I don't care if you're researching. Come rest until you're fully bloody healed, all right? I'm gonna do that for all of you. <laughs> I don't care that you're cutting stone blocks. I don't care that you're making cloth. Uh, you. Yeah, no, other people can do that job. Rest until healed, damn it. Hey, elder things. Can we possibly recruit some of you? I know you're a trade caravan, so the answer to that is probably no. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> Let me have an elder thing. Alright, let's come and talk to... Tix Offy Z. I think that, yeah. Uh, let's see what the pet dealer does, though. Come on. I mean, we know what he does, but let's see what he has to sell. Jesus, I have a lot of bears I could sell. He doesn't want any of our dogs. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't want a lynx. I don't want a timber wolf. I don't have a need for a pair of wargs. Hmm. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad thing to just sell off a lot of our bears. I mean, let's be honest, we are drowning in bears. Now, granted, they are doing our hauling. Yeah, I'm debating just starting fresh with new, with new, uh, just starting, uh, with quite a few less bears at this point. Hmm. Uh, wow, we have a lot of two-year-old bears, huh? <coughs> It's a shame we only have the one polar bear, though. Yeah, it's a little... I think I'm going to sell off the younger ones, uh, which I know we've done before. And we'll keep a lot of the older ones. So we're selling one, two, three... Uh, we're selling eight of them. Honestly, might sell off a bunch of these as well. Eh, 
Actually, no. I'm, I'm happy with you. Well... <laughs> yeah, I know I'm flip-flopping on this quite a bit, but... Yeah, no. We're just gonna... Oh, shit. Well, that certainly puts a damper on my plan. Never mind. I'll just buy your components. <laughs> Here I am planning to clear out a lot of these bears and shit, and all of a sudden it's like, no, nah, no, nah, you're fine. It's... Okay, hey termite, are you fucking stupid? Pretty sure I told you to get your ass back in bed. Yo. You are going to get an infection. Don't care about the cloth. Termite and viper. All right, you are making infantry uniform. Uh, eh. At least these are getting worked on, so I'm not gonna worry about that shit right now. Uh, this house is taken for goddamn ever, though. That's for damn sure. Wow. And I think Termite just walked away from the fucking bed again. Screw it. If Term Termite gets herself killed, Termite gets herself killed. I don't care at this point. <laughs> yeah, like, she's fucking experiencing acute pain, but, eh, I want to go make some cloth. Even though every single one of my people has a number one priority when it comes to being a patient. Look on through here. Yoder and Bertha have formed a bond. Okay. Not sure who the hell Bertha is. Thank you for that, Spiffy. Enjoying your meal? Come on. The sooner you bastards get this done, the better. Combat supplier. Never Mold Industries. That seems like an odd name for a combat supplier. Yo, Kyle. Let's talk to Never Mold. Let's see what we can buy. Ooh, more components. Because we definitely need those bastards right now. Uh, let's see. Arasin Rifle, huh? You know, I've not seen one of those before, so... Yeah, no, I think I might buy it. In fact, I know I'm gonna buy it, even though it's, as they put it, horrible condition, I still want it. Legendary Bearskin Murph Body Armor, huh? <coughs> okay. Let's see, they don't have a lot of weapons that I'm interested in. They have some decent ones, and I think I'm actually gonna buy all this medicine, because, yeah. Uh, we don't have nearly enough. Eh, no, I don't want the bolt action. Uh, I think I'll take the assault rifle, though. As long as they're decent condition. I mean, I know the Arasan rifle is in decent condition, but it's useful. Zen armor with jungle duster, huh? I don't recall building that, but apparently I did. Okay, termites. Let's have you come get an assault rifle. I like how it says hunter, but we don't actually have any dedicated hunters in this place. I mean, we have them all doing it as a side job, but meh. Hey, Carlos. Uh, let's have you come equip the Arasid Rifle. Termite and Viper are about to break. Lovely. What the hell is your problem? Yeah, you should be fine. Yes, I know. It's a fucking disgusting hospital. <laughs> I don't blame you. Well, how about we do this? We take you to a better hospital. Leave. Termite over here would be much happier if she rested until she was bloody well healed. 
All right. We got more power production. Hell yeah. Yep, John dropped his weapon. Uh, not surprising, considering the fight against the damn Lynx that, sadly, we lost the Lynx anyway. Good, 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 good. People are heal Green. Dude, why are you... There's plenty of food. Yo, Green. Hey. Somebody wanna... Okay, green. I need to... I need to get you food. Uh, zone? Yeah, no, he can go into places where there's food. Let's see what he does when he wakes up. If he wakes up. Because currently he's very, or she is very, very much not moving. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on green. I don't want another animal to just drop on us. You're just wandering, dog? Well, here's an idea. Go eat. Get them some food. Uh, why isn't Tim eating? And I should not have clicked off a of green. Oh, for fuck's sake, green. Yeah, that is a weird glitch that I've encountered so many damn times in this game. Um, <coughs> where I have... Where my animals just choose to. Uh, you know what? We're going to delete that. I think I'm actually going to delete most of these. So we have Animal Area 1, Animal Bunker, and now Animal Area 2. Okay. Let's go with clear allowed areas for Animal Area 2, because I don't anticipate we're going to have too many more wild animals. And we're going to expand it to Animal Area 2 over here. You're going to cover all of this. Dude, there is so much bloody food over here. You should not have a problem. So please. So green. Uh, animals. Where are you, green? Cool. Basically, go to the damn kitchen. Yeah, for whatever reason... This game has, I run into situations with this game quite frequently with numerous animals, but it seems to happen most frequently with uh, the German Shepherd. So I'm wondering if it's an issue with that particular mod where they will just basically stand there looking around without, you know, they'll just stand there. There'll be food. They won't eat it. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's what's going on here. Uh, I could be wrong. But, I don't know. It just seems like a pretty common issue with uh, this particular mod. Ah, uh, Talisman. I'll work on you. I'll get you back up. I'll get you back up and running, Talisman. Not your fault you went batshit crazy. That was the damn Chthonian and how long it took me to kill the fucker. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. Alright, and before we forget here, I want to build that fridge. Uh, let's see, garden tools? Nah. Furniture? Still no. Temperature? Temperature. Even though it's weird, that's not really a temperature item. But I'm going to build... One there, and I think, yeah, I'm going to build two of these. One of them is going to be for synthetic organs and body parts, and one of them is going to be for food. So we got that going. We need these drills finished, but we sure as hell don't have the components. 
Uh, hey, Rathas. Um, really? I don't have the four. Oh, I don't have four hundred plasteel. I'll be damned. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, John. You should still be sleeping, but whatever. Just come get your sniper rifle. Yeah, this is still taking its sweet time. Good God. Uh, nope, it's not slate. I thought for a second it might be, hey, we're out of slate, but that is most definitely not what's going on. God damn. Okay. Hey, Bowman. Can you mine this out? Yeah, the sooner you mine this out, the sooner we can get to both of these walls. In fact, I'm going to have you do this now. Just knock it out of the way right now. Excellent. And now you're going to go play horseshoes. Sure. <laughs> Slate blocks. Okay, most of this is ready to go. <clears throat> I think this dude's working on the bookshelves. bed. Okay, cool. This is definitely finishing up. Good, because we do need our guest houses back. Come on. Like, I'll be happy once you finish that. Well, actually, I'll be happy once you guys finish this house. So, Rathas, stop making the Murph coat and come work on... Well, Ilya's already... Okay, cool. How about you just come down here and start mining? Urchin, hauling medicine to the stockpile. Eh. Come on, Mansnovic. Get that shit done for me. Please? Any day now. Horus, yeah. Well, the days is not a bad is not a bad option. I'm o I'm okay with him being in a haze. Holy shit, the house is mostly done. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not completely done because we still need to tear apart these um, slate embrasures and put, like, normal walls here. Actually, I don't think I need to destroy these ones. That seems like a pretty good place for my people to stand if someone's attacking through here. These ones, these ones need to get done. Uh, come on. No? Apparently someone's already on these, on this work. Cool. I wasn't expecting that, but okay, cool. Sooner the better, guys. Sooner the better. Okay. I'm going to have you continue tearing these apart. Uh, main reason being, I want this house done. Oh, get over here. And then we can build a slate wall. There we go. Now, technically, it's done. Or it will be done. Beautiful. Uh, pleasure cruiser. I don't know that I have a lot of use for one of these right now, but we'll see. Uh, shit, we have some guests up here. Uh, let's look at you guys here real quick. Character. Beautiful but abrasive. Beautiful and a night owl. Uh, lazy. Hmm. <laughs> You know, all you guys would not be a bad... Well, okay, Bubba... Bubba's an issue. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to take Bubba. At the moment, though, I highly doubt uh, any of these dudes will want to join us. Especially since I have them sleeping in fucking zero below. Hmm. I need to start setting up some guest houses. Yeah, 
Yeah, some of our people, our own people don't have beds, so. Yeah, I know, you guys might be waiting a while. But I think Mansnovic just got the best part of this deal. Yeah, she got a royal bed out of this. Well, one of you. Cool. Alright. Oh, hey, one fridge is done. Uh, that one's not. We don't have the components. God damn. Okay. Let's do storage here, and we're gonna go. F we're gonna go meals in this one. Doesn't matter what kind. All kinds. Okay. Cool. All right. I think this is a pretty good place to stop. We got more power generation. Uh, we managed to get uh, animal bionics. Uh, if not actually getting, yeah, no, they're actually getting crafted. Excellent. I'm not sure the game actually knows where we're going to be keeping them. Uh, huh. I mean, they'd be under body parts, right? Let's look at this. Bionics can go in here. Uh, and animal body parts, yes. Yeah, I'm just going to go through and say all oh, this shit is fine in here. I'm sorry, I did not realize I could make a bionic tail. Oh, it's something I can attach to a human. <laughs> I see. Okay. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> well, no, I don't want corpses in here. Would it be under raw resources? <laughs> Uh, manufactured, I guess. Yep, still not what I'm looking for. Items. You know what? Body parts. I think that's the way to go. Alright. So now that we've got that set up and people know where to keep the bionic body parts, I think this is actually a good place to stop for now. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that being said, I'll see you next time for some more RimWorld Call of Cthulhu, where we will hopefully start getting our insane animals a bit better, and start crafting bionics for more than just our animals. And goddamn, do we need more housing. <laughs> Either way, we'll have to get started on that next time. Thanks again for watching, guys.